Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make these butterflies. They were designed by me. Um, there is one design with this. In the back there's a bit of like a weird hole. I've tried different things to cover the hole and it just doesn't look right, but it's in the back. So I don't really think it matters. But, also, um... This guy, I put paper clips in the wings to like make them, that's what's sticking out here and here, to make them stay straight, but otherwise if you don't, it's going to be very like soggy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You, to make this, you're of course going to need a hook. You don't need a double-ended one, I just use this one because I'm used to it. And I have a band on my finger because I was opening my hair, it's, oops. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... You're gonna need eyes, of course, whatever, all stuff for you. You do need paper clips though if you want to do this. Any kind. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm just moving them out of the way. So, the first thing we're gonna be making is the um, body of this guy. So, to start, you're gonna get your hook. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be neon. Um, yellow. So, you get your hook. Oh, that's not focused. I'm using my brother's camera again, so this is not my usual. That is not focused. That's better. Okay. So you get you have to bend three times on your hook. And then pull the band through. Both ends on your hook, and then you pull the back one over the front one. And you're gonna do this three more times in the cap band. So you put it back through the cap band, and then oops. And then you put the back one over that one, and then you put that one over too. And we just do this two more times. I think it's bugging me because it still looks kind of blurry. Let's see if I can. It's a bit better. Okay, so once you've done it and you show four um, of these things in the cat band. You're going to go into this first stitch that we did and do kind of the same thing. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. And then you're going to put a C-clip in this one. And I'm using a color C-clip so you guys can see it better, but you don't need one. Don't take your hook out. I always do that. Okay. I have a bad t habit of when I put the C-clip in, I take my hook out for like, oh, that's not good, for no reason. Okay, so now I can get this to focus. Okay, that's as good as it's getting. Um, we're going to go into that same, so we're going to be increasing everything this row. So we're going to go in back into that same first, the, uh, the first one. You're gonna just do another one. I need to get some bands on my finger. And if you hear anything in the background, I just hear my sister on the piano, so. Oh, it's really hard to see. But you go, you basically putting two in each one of these little loops until you get back to the C clip. So instead of doing one, you do ooh, two. I'm having so many problems with me today because I was like making some stuff before the tutorial and yeah. Oh my gosh. Don't do that. Like, okay, so you go into the next one. I'm just going to do two. Hopefully I can show you guys without messing up this time. It's a bit blurry, but I think you can still see what I'm doing. Now we're going to go back into the first one C-clip, and you're just going to do a normal thing, and then just move the C-clip up. Like that. So, <laughs> okay, my instructions. I actually, for, I wrote down how to make this butterfly, and then I left it in the car, and then the car's getting fixed, so I had to rewrite down all the instructions on how to make this. So, 
so. Okay. Now we're going to be increasing every other stitch, so we won't go back into the first one, but we'll go into the next one, and we'll do two in this one. Well, every other loop, I guess. I'm having problems grabbing the bands. So, of course, we do two in this one because it's an increase in the next one. Then the next one will just be one. And then this one's two. Oops. And then one. And then you just do this till you get back to the C clip. my hands are sweating. Okay, and then you just move the C-clip up like last time. So, I'm gonna move my hands because like, they're so sweaty. It's gross. And now we're just gonna do one row normal all the way around, so no increasing or anything. Just one um, little stitch in every single loop all the way around until we get back to the C-clip, of course. We're just going to be doing one in every single one. I thought I messed up, but I guess I didn't. I don't really know what to say right now because it's just kind of repetitive. Oops. Oh my gosh. It's because my hands are like so sweaty right now. Okay. So, now... We are going to be decreasing. It does not look right for some reason. Oh no, yeah, it does. Okay. So now we are going to decrease every other loop thing. I never know what to call it because, like, whenever I watch a VBS, they're using like crochet terms, which is like to me weird because it's, it's like looming, so it's kind of different. I don't know. So. This first one we won't do anything, but the next one's gonna be a decrease. So you get the f the back one of this one and the front one of this one, and then you just pull band through like normal. And where the next one will be normal, and then the next one will be the same thing. You get the back one of this loop, and then the front one of the next loop. And you pull band through, and you just again keep doing this until you get back to the C clip. Did I do two decreases in a row? No, I didn't. Oh my god. Okay. And now is where it gets a bit repetitive once you get back to the C-clip. So... Of course you move your C-clip up. And it should just look like a little head. But now this is where it gets... So we're going to be doing seven rows just normal all the way around. And I'll show you the first time, but then I'm going to leave to finish because it is very repetitive. So you're just going to be doing one like before in every single one of these 
loops all the way around until you get back to the C-clip. It's kind of hard to do the first one because it's like kind of tight, but after you do like two rows or something like that, it gets easier. Oh, I went off there, but I'm back at the C-clip. So that's pretty much it. You just do one in every loop and until you get back to the C-clip, move it, and you're going to do that six more times. And come back when you are done, and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so I've switched colors as usual because I don't want the camera to time out. But when you're done, it should look something like this. And now I have a C-clip. Uh, oops. A clear C-clip now because I switched. Oop. Stuff's falling. One minute. Okay, sorry. Just because my uh, some stuffed animals by where I'm filming. And they started to fall. But it should look something like this. So now we just have to close it up. And to close it up... I believe. Oh wait, no, we need stuff at first. Oh snap, let me go get stuffing. <laughs> I keep forgetting things, but I have actual stuffing. I actually don't need this much. I need just like a tiny bit. Because I usually use cotton balls, but um I ran out of cotton balls. I forgot what I was saying. I can't get the stuffing to go in. You could also leave this guy on stuff because like the purple one. He has no stuffing in him and he's like totally fine. So Cause it's like not really a big design, so you could totally leave it on stuff if you want to. He's just like they're just like a bit more squishy. This guy looks kind of weird now that I've stuffed him. I think I overstuffed him. Oh well. Yeah, I definitely overstuffed him. <laughs> Take some out. Okay, so hopefully yours is not overstuffed, but here's my overstuffed thing you just kind of shove it in. I used a pencil last time to help shove it in. Like to poke it down so if you want to do that you can do that too. So to close it up you're just going to be decreasing everything until it's closed because it's pretty small already. So you're going to do the same thing as before. You're going to get the back one of the first one and the front one of the next one. Do the exact same thing. You're going to do that again. And until it's closed. You can take out the C-clip at this point, by the way. I'm not, I'm not, I feel like I'm off camera. Okay. So you just do this until it is closed. Oops. My thing's coming. This gets kind of hard at the end because it does get really close to close, but... Right. Okay, I think this is my last one. So once it's your last one and you can't do it anymore, you're just going to pull band through everything on your hook and pull tight. This guy looks really fat. Now I'm questioning if I got the design right. Or if I overstuffed him, which I think it might be the overstuffing. Before I post this, though, I am going to double check the other instructions to make sure like, I have the right thing. Because I'm not too sure. Ooh, that's It might just be my amount of overstuffing because it did look right before I stuffed him. Now he looks very overstuffed. I probably just need to move the stuffing around because it doesn't look right. Yeah, so yours just look, this looks pretty right. Let me see. I, yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, so now we're going to be doing um, the wings or should I do the face? Um, we'll do the wings. So, to make the wings, it's pretty simple. Um, let me just get my colors. I haven't made a butterfly in a while. I should have made it closer to when I, like, designed it, but I didn't. Okay, I'm just picking up some bands. Okay, so I'm going to be using these colors. I've already actually made, um, you have to make four of these. Well, they're different. These are smaller, these are bigger, but these are the colors I'm using. So, the first thing you do is you cap a band on your hook. And we're going to be making the smaller one first. And then you just loop. 
Well, you just do a cap band and then you loop two on. And then at the top, this is how I do it anyways. I just do like the, like just a stitch and I just like pull it a bit tighter. Like, uh, I can't speak. Not too tight. And then you're going to go back into the first like cap band loop and you're going to start doing this thing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So you're going to do two in the cap band. So it's kind of like starting it, I guess, like starting a little bit roomy thing. Then you're going to go, after you've done two in the cap band, you're going to go up to the next one and you're going to do two. Oops. I'm hoping I have enough of these colors because I think I'm going to be running low on the pink and the green. I'm picking up bands. Okay. And then you're going to do five in this top one, technically. So it'll be two. And you're not going to bother that one yet. Or that one yet. Ugh. Can't speak. And now, I usually loosen this up a bit. Oh, not too much. Well, I guess you could. Then I include it as part of the five. So we're at three at the top. And there's two in these. Oh, it's blurry. There we go. And then this next one. Well, you do five in the top total. So that was three. It's four. Five. And then the next one gets two. Two. And the bottom one gets two. And I need to pick up more bands. So like that. And I'm gonna get some more bands. Oh, my knees hurt. I'm kneeling. Cause like where I film, it's like a shelf thing. Not a desk, so I kneel and my knees are hurting. But I let you know that I don't know. So now we have to go, we do another row like all around this. So what I do is I go back into this first loop and then I just start doing the same thing. And then you just put one in every loop until you get back to the start. So it's pretty simple. The hard part is honestly with this thing, it's like putting the wings together and then putting everything on it takes a bit. Still dropping bands. I don't know what to talk about. It's um I have to film like my um to like Luma Gourmet tutorials on other people's phones because my phone just does not have enough space. Like my um like for bracelet tutorials I'm like yeah I have space. But these take a bit longer so I never like can film them on my phone. Oh, we're out of colors. Okay. I'm just gonna do some stuff. So you just keep going until you get to the last one. This is kind of boring. Okay, so once you get to the last one, well, I'm not there yet. I have one more. Get to the last one, you're just gonna go through it. And then you pull it through everything on your hook and then slip knot it. Then that's one. So if you want to get ahead, because the next one's like almost exactly the same, you just add like one link. But I'll show you how to do it, of course. But like, if you want to like not watch me, oops, I'm so much stuff. Um, you can do that because it's fairly simple. Now this last wing's gonna be a bit different colored because I ran out of pink, but I have some purple, so I think I'm gonna use purple instead. So he's gonna have like one off colored wing. I'm just going to use double yellow. These wings are for the blue guy, by the way. Like, the yellow one, I don't know what color it's going to do, but I'm going to finish it. Okay. So, start again, same thing, by putting a cap band on your hook. But this time you're going to just loop, um, I'm going to loop, uh, sorry, I, I realized my colors were messed up, but I'm just going to leave it. You loop three links on instead of just two, and then at the top one, of course, you do the tie thing. And you go back to the start, and you put two 
in the bottom loop. This wing is gonna look so like different than the others. I thought it was like maybe it won't, but I think it is. Oh yeah, and then you go up to the next one and you do two. So it's like exactly the same thing, just like with one extra little loop. It actually is exactly the same thing, just with one extra. I'm just going up and doing two every one until you get to the top one, then you do five in total. Oh, that thing just unlooped. I'm just going to put it on my hook for now. I need to still do two more on this one. I need to pick up the ends. Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty. Still picking up bands, so yeah. Okay. Do two more on this one. You just do after you have five in the top one, you just do two and the rest going down. Okay, and now once again we're going to be doing one in every one all the way around until we get back to the start. So once again, these should all have two on each side and then five at the top one. Then you go back into this last one, and you just do one normal, and then again you just do normal to all the, in all the loops until you get back to the other end. I don't know if I should go off camera for this because it is very repetitive. It's kind of just silence. <laughs> I'm running the purple now too, so I'm just going to do gray and yellow. I ran out of green already on the last one. It's going to have one really odd colored wing, but it's fine. Oop, and off camera. Almost at the start. I also make sure your like stitches are facing the same way. If you don't really care, like it doesn't matter, but like I I care. It's not too noticeable if they aren't. Cause like when sometimes when you flip up to the top, uh you end up doing it the other way. This happened when I was making them before the tutorial, so just be careful. If you care anyways. If you don't care, it's not too noticeable and it doesn't really matter. Oh, I should have left one pink one out because for the antennas I want to make one neon yellow and one pink, but I used all the pink. So now he's going to have a gray one. Oops. Oh my god. One. Okay, and then again on this last one, you're just gonna get both of those on your hook. Oops, I think I got the. Make sure you're picking up the right stuff. Pull everything on your hook, and then pull tight. So now that you have everything, so you should have. Well, you have to go because I've already made everything, but you have to. Did you see this guy looks bigger for some reason? I can accidentally put two in one loop. Oops. Um, I'll fix that later. But you have to make one more of each and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. So for the next part, this is where you're gonna need the paper clips. I connected them together, which was a mistake. So basically, if you don't want to do the paper clip thing, you don't have to. 
Like I said before, he'll just have like soggier wings, but I like it better with the paper clips, so that's what I'm gonna do. And you just undo them completely. If you have a piece of like thin wire, this could work too, but Okay, so I think this might have to be a two part video because it just cut off, but if it is, hey, welcome to part two or part one, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I decided to um put the paper clip through one already. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with the bigger ones, which I should love the smaller ones. But so first thing is you kind of just undo the paper clip completely, like undo it. And now you can go to the back. Usually I consider this the back because like I like how the stitches look better on the side. It's the one with like the like line kinda. And you're just gonna pick an end. It doesn't matter really which end. And you're gonna start going through these guys on the very top. You're just gonna go through all the ones on the top row. It's like the little bottom part of like the slip knot thing. And you're just gonna go through this all the way around. And it is gonna get a little squished into form, then you're gonna have to like reform it. But it makes the wings look nicer. See, once you get past like the halfway point, it starts getting harder to put them on. So you can start like, I usually don't curve it. I kind of just leave it straight. I found this easier, but it does get harder to do as you get to the end. But you, I mean, they're bands, so they stretch pretty well. So once you get to the last one, you, it's going to look really bad, but... I usually just pick a spot and I kind of like curve it and then you just spread it out and you just mess with the curve and the stuff until it looks nicer. Don't think I left enough on this side. Oops. I definitely didn't. Um, you can reform it of course. I think I'm going to push this all the way to the other side because I messed up on the curve. So I'll just push it to the other side. And now you're going to spread it out. I think I did better on this side. Yeah. You just do it till it looks like how you want it. You mess with it. And once it looks the way how you want it, what I usually do, you're going to bend it right there to make the wings look. Have that, like, this thing. Now you're going to leave the side straight and you're just going to go through the whole other thing. And you're going to, oh, I just noticed these aren't facing the same way. See, like this is the back, this is the front. You're going to want to make sure they're both facing the same way. So, I'm going to make sure I do that with this one. So I need to go in like this, I believe. And again, you're just going to go into that first one. Go all the way around. Until you get to the start. Again, you don't have to do this, but they will be floppy. I find this is like the best way to make them not floppy. Sorry if I'm off camera. It's getting to the end, so it's kind of harder to squeeze them in. I think I am off camera, so sorry. Well, I'm kind of on camera. On the last one. Okay. Get on. No, I'm completely off camera. Jeez. Okay. Don't you have it all on? You do the same kind of thing. You squish it down. And you pick a spot where you think you bend it. Oh, I definitely did not do that evenly. Squish it. And with the bigger ones, it is like really tight, kind of like there's not much space left over on either side. And then like that, and you have your wings. And as you can see, like both of the stitches are the same, like the ones with the little lines on the front and then the part where we put it in is the back, which is what I messed up on this one. 
but I'll leave it to show you. So, see, this is what the problem is. There's, like, this giant hole in the middle. So, I'll show you how to attach them, but I think I'm going to show you how to attach everything else first, like the eyes and all that. So. Oops, oops, I just moved everything. Oh, God. Okay, sorry, my whole, like, camera setup fell. Um, but you're going to want to get eyes, which is this two. I have no idea what size beads these are. Just use whatever size you like. Oops, just dropped the whole guy off my desk. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to make all the... I'm trying to get my butterfly dropping everything. Um, put all the legs on and then, like, the antennas and the face right now. So, I already made a lot of the legs because I don't know if I'll attach them all right now. But you're going to need five, six... I'll show you how to make one, then you're going to need five more because I put the six legs. And then I have one antenna. And I, I really overstuffed him because the bottom doesn't look right, but I'm going to have to play with the stuffing to make it look nice. So, first thing is you're just going to... I usually do the legs first, so we'll just pick a spot... Oh, let me show you how to make a leg first. Just drop the eye. So, to make a leg, you just get a band and you wrap it around once on your hook, and then you get both. Do it like that. So it's four times technically, but I do it like Silicon Spiffy does it. And then you just pull it onto a band. Then, drop them again. You get your thing. You just pick a side that you want the face to be. You go through. You just basically pick whatever you want the leg to be. And then you put both ends on your hook and you pull it. Well, you go through, you get both ends of that band, put it on your hook, and then you pull to like slip knot it into the the thing. And I try to make all the legs pretty even, so like straight down one side and then like right across on the other. So I put this one here, so then I'll go like Right here, and do the same thing. Well, first I get one side and pull it through, and I put both ends on, and slip knot it. And then, of course, you'd put the other legs just like down the body. So for the, to make the antenna, it's kind of the same thing. You get the color you want for like the very top. Um, piece do the same thing wrap it around your hook four times then you get a the color of your um butterfly and you double it oops oh, i hate double bands you pull it through i'm gonna do two more double bands i really hate double bands do that one more time Came out. No, try not to lose it. Okay, I didn't lose it. And then you just pull one band. Oh, that's not the right color. I don't even know where that came from. Through everything. So now I go put the antennas in, and yeah, I usually just pick a spot on the top of the head and do the same thing as the legs. You pull one side through that. The butterfly. You put the other end on your hook and you just slip knot it in. So you're basically just tying things into him. Oh, and then you pull the tail in, which is what I'm doing right now. I keep forgetting to explain. Oh my god, I keep pulling stuffing out. I like cotton balls so much better. And then you do this again with the other antenna, just like next to it somewhere. It's hard to explain where I'm putting it because you kind of just can just pick a spot on top of the head and put your antennas in. It's not really an exact spot. No, oh, more stuff is coming out, which is fine because I overstuffed him. Oh, I think I put his antennas very close, but it's kind of cute. Um, um, I'll leave him. So, oh, the eyes. So band with a bead on it or a black band, whichever. And again, you're just picking a spot. Tying an eye on. I feel like I'm not explaining this well, but there's not really much to explain. Oh, 
And then again, the other side you're just going to do the same thing. And then you just hide all the tails in the butterfly. <laughs> his antennas are so close and his eyes are so far. Okay, so for the mouth, what I did is I glue, I cut a band and glue gunned it on. But you could just pull like a black band through and I'm pretty sure it would look fine. Let me get a back band real quick. Okay, so, I got a black band and I just cut it and then you could just, I really overstuffed him because like you can't see where his head ends and his body starts. And you just pull it in. Oh, you get a back band. You cut it. And you just pull. I keep pulling stuffing out. And then I'm off camera doing this because there's a lot of stuffing coming out. His guts are gross. <laughs> okay, his mouth looks a bit interesting, but I'm going to leave it for now because it's kind of cute. And he has stuffing coming out of the side of his head. Definitely use cotton balls for the amount of poking you have to do these things. <laughs> His mouth is also so crooked. Oh my god, I'll show it to you once we're done hiding it. Yeah, so he looks kind of hilarious, but you can pull back band and like that if you don't want to glue gun it, but I'm going to glue it on later. So now, the last thing after you've attached all the legs, of course, because my only has arms. I'll move out, these out of the way. Is just to attach the wings. So you might want to cut these off. Um... I don't have anything to cut it off now, so I'll probably cut it off later. But, I don't know exactly how I would attach these wings. I'm just going to start here, put my hook in through this part. Then I'll put my hook in through a part of the back of the butterfly's head. So it's about where the wings go. Then you're going to get your butterfly's body color. And you're just going to pull it through the wings and everything. So you kind of just tie the wings onto the body. So they're kind of down right there. Then I'll tie the bottom ones on next, and then you kind of just see where else it needs to be, like, tied on. And, oh, his mouth is coming out. I'll just... There we go. <laughs> when you go on the bottom here, and again, you put your... I don't want to make sure they're facing the right way. I don't think this one has the right way. Oh, we're off camera again. So I just put my hook through the wings, just picked a spot, and then you can pick a pot on the lower... Part of the butterfly's body and again you're just going to pull a band through everything it's kind of really hard to show because you can't see much anyways and tie it on that and of course you'll hide all these tails but i usually wait till the end time and then until it'll kind of look right right now but not really so what i do is i usually connect the wings together so i'll go through a part on the top wing go through a part on the bottom wing Spot. And then get a color of your wings and tie it together. Oh, ow, that snapped. Okay. Well, it. Ow, yeah, it snapped. I hurt my hand. <laughs> Hit my thumb. Go on, you tie that. These are also kind of some old bands. They're not rainbow loom. I don't know where exactly. Them. So yeah, you'll just tie it. Uh, that one won't come out. And then you do the same thing on this side. Just pick a spot on both of them and tie them together. God, I don't want to go through these like weird loops. Just the band. Okay. So wings are somewhat attached. It's kind of really hard to attach the wings. But you still have these gaps. So what I usually do is I get these guys that like are all over the place because I have so many slip nuts. And I kind of just like loop them together. Oh wait. And also these two cat bands right here, I usually attach them too, so just do the same thing. Kind of just some not a bunch of stuff together till the wings look right. So just kind of like... And then I get all these and I braid them together. Just loop them together. 
This is how I did it on the last one. It kind of covers up the holes too. And, oops. That does not look right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know what, I'm gonna loop them together on the back. It's probably a better idea. Or the front, I'm not sure. Again, there's no really exact way I attach these wings. I kind of just, I'm tying the cat bands right now on the other side. I'm kind of just letting you see what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so usually I loop these together. So I forgot how I did it last time, but I did. I looped all these together. And it helped cover up the hole in the back. Then I kind of just tie all the loops to the butterfly. After you loop all the like little slipknot bands that are everywhere. Or you could tuck them in the wings if you don't mind the giant hole. But it bugs me. So. Oh my. That looks messy. But yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, There's not really much. I put the wings on backwards, didn't I? Not there on right. So that's pretty much it for this butterfly. That's how you make it. I know it kind of gets confusing with the wings, but you kind of just tie them on and um, tie them together and it'll eventually look like this. Of course, this hole in the back, I'm probably going to cut that off. You could probably like loop some bands if you want to cover that up. Or like maybe do like a little thing. Yeah, just like tie some stuff tied together and it'll probably cover up. So that is pretty much it for this. Um, if you make any of the butterflies, tag me and I'm on Instagram if you have an Instagram, I guess. I forget what I usually say at the end, which is interesting. But subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I do have more stuff I have made and want to post. A piece of glitter on my hand. Um, I'll have my Instagram down in the description because I usually um, post if I make anything new on there before it ever comes on here. See, I looped it together on this one, I just realized. And you could see... So you can just do something like that. Um... But that's pretty much it. See you, man. I don't know what to say. Um...